I have to compliment you because you eat it, the pasta, the long pasta with the fork without even cutting the pasta because the long pasta must remain long and mm -hmm. we have the fork to eat it as it is. So well done, Sheena. Today I would like you to try one of the most iconic food that we have in Genoa, my home city. Basically, wherever you go there in any restaurant or bar, you can try pasta al pesto. It is something that really comes from Genoa and now it is spread all over the world. Mm -hmm. So we are very proud of it. As you can see, basil is uh, the main, main ingredient here. So basil leaves, pine nuts are very important, cheese, garlic, some salt and uh, olive oil. Actually, it is very common to have it also in the schools for the kids or in the kindergartens as well. And this is a, a really nice way to encourage the kids to start eating green food. So I'm uh, going to be introducing one of the popular uh, dishes that we have in the Philippines. So it's uh, also quite a simple dish. This is called uh, lumpia. So we have different variations of uh, lumpia in the Philippines. And this is uh, what we usually call as Lumpiang Shanghai. Lumpia has three main uh, parts. So you have the cover, which is like a soft pastry. And then you put the, your uh, minced uh, meat or uh, seafoods, as well as um, some uh, cubed vegetables, so like your carrots, onion, some parsley, and cheese is optional, but I love <laughs> cheese. <laughs> and then the third part of that is uh, the sauce. So this is a uh, sweet uh, chili sauce with mm. a bit of um, uh, tanginess in the taste, just to uh, further enrich the, the taste of uh, the uh, lumpia. We have different versions of lumpia in the Philippines, so this is the fried version. We also have the fresh uh, version, where you have fresh veg vegetables and some uh, meat or seafoods as well in it. And some uh, dessert versions uh, where we put banana and deep fry it. Um, so maybe next time we can try the other it's ones. Right. <laughs> yes. Are you ready to try it? Yes, uh, okay. very much excited. Here you go. So, please Thank let you. me know how you find it. Uh, in Italy, we say buon appetito before starting. So, enjoy. enjoy. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll uh, dig in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm, mm, that's so good. <laughs> it is always a success. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't uh, you give a try yes. uh, for the <laughs> lumpia as well? So let me try how it looks like. Try it without the sauce and then uh, try mm. it with the sauce as well. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was a great uh, chance to try something new, which I will remember to order whenever I go yes. to Philippines. <laughs> so fantastic. In the Philippines, gatherings and festivities are actually quite common. So we're very social people. It's not common for us to have uh, the appetizer and main course and then dessert. We usually would have everything served. Of course, dessert comes last, but we have everything served in the table. And then usually the family will be there. And then we uh, then enjoy the food together. You can start with the main course or uh, uh, begin with the appetizers, depending on how you want. Uh, but it's more of uh, an experience to have the time with the family and to catch up on how things are happening uh, with the food uh, in the centerpiece. How about uh, in uh, Italy? How, uh, how is it? I can definitely understand because I don't think that I have to underline how important food is in, uh, in Italy. It is basically part of our culture and our life. We also have uh, normally gatherings uh, with family and uh, normally on Sundays, at least in the tradition on Sundays, all the family would gather and have lunch together with uh, many kids, uh, siblings uh, and uh, a lot of people going around at home. Going to the restaurant is always a good occasion to celebrate something, but simply just to celebrate a day off, let's say. We give a lot of importance to food also in business, so many contracts and many business discussions are actually done at the table. Mm. Does it look good? Mm. See, the thing with Dumpia is it's crunchy on the outside but you have the savory uh, filling inside. Very yeah. soft. Yeah. And the meat was gorgeous. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, but I can tell you that pasta pesto is perfect. It okay. is exactly the way it should be. Very well done. <laughs>